welcome to another Tablets Glass Emporium YouTube video. Today I wanted to look at this. This is using some of our new pattern bar stock to make this cute little trinket dish. It's got multiple colored glass stacked on top of each other to make this fantastic little dish. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make this. So I've cut the glass um, off center. I don't want the pattern bar directly in the middle so it's slightly to one side. I mean, the problem is if you try and do it directly in the middle, you get it slightly off, it looks a mess. So it's always good to do it kind of um, a bit off center. I've made sure the glass will cut to fit this mold. So on the bottom, I've got, um, on one side, I've got um, my, uh, a moment, green, blue, and, and um, purple. There will be a reaction between the blue and the, um, uh, the blue and the green. I don't mind that. Um, here, I've got the pattern bar and a piece of two mil, um, uh, kind of ice tech to clear and then that um, is going on top. Now I think I'm going to put some little dams around this because I want to keep it really sharp. Uh, so I'll put those around it and then we can have a look how it looks before it goes in the kiln. Here it is ready to go in the kiln and we can see how it looks when it comes out. We've put some fibre paper, the same height as the glass, um, around it and uh, dams around that. Here's this out of the kiln. I want to cold work the edges just slightly and then it can go in for a slump. So here this is nicely cold worked. So I've just sort of ground the edges off a bit um, to make sure they're nice and smooth and um, also wanted to really make sure that it was visible the kind of three colour edge to the piece. So I'll put it on this little mould now. It will go in our kiln and we will slump it. It's slightly shorter than the mould because the pattern bar is slightly shorter. So I'm just going to make sure it's centred nicely in the mould and then it will slump really well and nicely. So this will go in the kiln and we can have a look when it comes out. So here it is out of the kiln and nicely slumped. Um, I love the way this has turned out. The pattern bar looks amazing. It's got such, you know, transparent glass in it that you get such nice depth that you can kind of see down into it. If I hold it up, you can kind of get light through it, which is such um, a pretty piece. And I love the sides where you have the kind of these three color glass. Um, and even the reaction between the green and the blue looks great. I think this is a great little piece and such a fun idea. You know, you can, your three different coloured glasses can be anything and they could be the same. But I really like this idea of using two mil glass stacked up in threes. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Remember, please like our videos, share them, subscribe to our channel. Um, you can subscribe to our newsletter at tabithasglassemporium.com where you can get these pattern bars and all our amazing Marini and Stringers. We are the sweet shop for all your glassy needs. Until next time, happy fusing.